Hi Sagittarius, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your love reading Sagittarius, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading Sagittarius. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the Four of Wands, and this is Fire Energy, Sagittarius Aries Leo Energy. So this is a beautiful energy, very positive energy, celebration, celebrating a union, connecting with someone who you love, and it's like making progress in this connection. Things are starting to become more committed, achieving a milestone. It's like going towards that next step in the connection. You're both on the same page, and the connection is starting to become more structured, um, more defined in some way here. Yeah. So there's just a very beautiful energy here. So let's see what the rest of the cards have to say about the Sagittarius. Okay, we have the Five of Wands, and this is Fire Energy. Next, you have the Four of Cups, Water Energy. And finally, we have the Five of Pentacles in the reverse, Earth Energy. Okay, so there's definitely, it's been a struggle to get here. With the Five of Wands, it does look like there has been some sort of conflict, um, mixed feelings, back and forth disagreements chaos even um people here could have not been seen eye to eye or this could have just been outside influences that interrupted this connection in some way but we do see this is settling down because of the four of wands this is harmony this is people actually rooting for this connection so um whatever these outside influences were that where people were not um in favor or support of this connection the, the that is being resolved um, there is this energy of some sort of conflict um, being re resolved. So this connection is recovering with the Five of Pentacles being in the reverse. So it's like this connection, it's it's almost like it hit rock bottom at some point, but it's it's like it's coming back up again. Um, with the Four of Cups being here, it's it, I do see someone is turning down the opportunity to um, engage in, in conflict. It's like this is becoming boring. Um, there is this energy of wanting peace with each other, not wanting to fight anymore. Um, so we are seeing a shift happening for this connection. There is this energy of choosing to um, be positive, choosing to work together. Okay, so let's clarify these cards. Um, Sagittarius. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck we have the judgment card and this scorpio energy so you could be dealing with scorpio so this this is a breakthrough energy so again we saw that energy of a conflict here but it's like you guys are having some sort of breakthrough in that situation um and ending to that conflict or that chaos um coming to some sort of mutual understanding getting clarity opening up um okay so let's see what the rest of the cards have to say okay we have the ten of cups water energy Ten of Swords in the reverse, Air Energy, and the Three of Swords in the reverse, Air Energy. So there's again that energy of recovering, um, you know, moving forward with this connection, um, healing some sort of 
betrayal or whatever this heartbreak was this connection is it's it's proving to be resilient you guys are overcoming um some sort of difficulty and you're coming into a state of harmony um coming out of conflict and coming into a good place okay so i i do see this connection it's like it's being saved or it's a second chance it's it's being healed and it's like you guys have made it past the the difficult parts the power struggle you're making it towards the bliss the bliss phase now so you guys are definitely overcoming something here and we do have the three of um, swords and we had that five of wands it's like there was some sort of third party interference or something outside of the connection that was influencing this connection in some way or this could have just been um, a conflict of interest but we are seeing here now it's like this person you're with they're, they're not interested in fighting with you anymore they are wanting harmony with you they want to connect deeply here they want to have that emotional fulfillment with you um there's it's like the, the goal has shifted you know this is someone who's putting aside ego and power you know the desire for power or control it's like they just want to be in harmony with you now okay so i'm going to pull out an oracle card for you sagittarius So the card says a new romantic cycle begins new moon in libra okay so you guys are entering into a new phase in this love it's like this connection is progressing it is leveling up in some way there's a new more romantic chapter that you guys are entering into um leaving behind some something that was a struggle it was difficult you guys are uh progressing to the next phase there's a major breakthrough for this connection okay so i'm going to pull out another card for you sagittarius Okay, so the card says healing family issues your love life benefits as you forgive your parents okay so there is a healing energy here we did see that recovery energy um this outside interference could have even been family related um or whatever it is it's like those influences there's this energy of coming together and um working together to celebrate this union this could be combining families or um ideas um mindsets um cultures in some way but there is this energy of moving forward for this connection okay so i'm going to pull out another card for you um sagittarius So the card says, forget me nots, eternal memories. The best things in life are the people you've loved, the places you've seen and the and the memories you've made along the way. Okay, so you've come a long way with this person. This does look like someone who you've really had a lot of ups and down with, downs with. There is this energy of you guys ha achieving a breakthrough. It's like you're, you're getting to the, the rainbow at the end of the, the journey. It's like you guys have really been through the tough part now and now you guys are entering into this more blissful um, state here. Okay, so that's what I'm seeing for you, um, Sagittarius. I hope you have a really, really good day, Sagittarius. Bye, Sagittarius.